Hey guys, Kamsi here. Welcome back to ETS2 Season 2. Up today for a job, another doubles because it's really paying well and even though our truck is struggling a bit, I think it will be worth it. What is that view? Oh, there it is. There we go. So this should be one of the mall group trailers in here. So bear with me a bit as we pick up this load. Um, which one's the front, guys? <laughs> I always have trouble uh, knowing which side is the front. I think it's the other side. So let's let's loop around and see which trailer is ours here. One second. Yeah, it's probably this one, right? Yeah, that, that one has the cone. Okay, okay, yes, that's the one. Okay, good. So let's go around here now we will be traveling over the coast the southern coast of Spain here from Algeciras to is it Murcia? something like that I know nothing about the place not even the pronunciation so if you guys can pitch in I would really appreciate it I'm sure you guys would have some input served too from me, like in previous episodes. Thank you for that, by the way. Really appreciate those uh, different uh, trivia details, tidbits, and whatnot. Some of you recently told me about the highways as well. I know I was uh, complaining about some parts of the highway. I got a bit conflicted reports in here, though. Some people are saying it shouldn't be sh that sharp. Some people are saying it is that sharp. So, uh, we'll see. We'll see. If you guys have more inputs, let me know. Ooh, nice train. Nice sounds too. Very cool. So, what are we hauling today? We are hauling uh, 27 tons of boric acid. Oh my goodness. I don't even know what that is. It sounds pretty scary. So let's keep our hands off of it. 27 tons. Double trailer. Let's do it. Alan happily sleeping away. Okay, good. Let me just open this a bit so I know the first direction before the GPS activates. Just turn left. Okay. Gotcha. There's the double trailer. Wow, that's actually a very different looking trailer, huh? What do you call that? It's not... It doesn't have that dolly. It rather has that extension at the back of this first trailer. Oh my goodness. I think it's the first time I've hauled something like this. Not even sure which trailer pack this comes from. Is this default? Yeah, this must feel a bit different then, huh? When turning, let's have a look. Yeah, look at that. The trailer at the back kind of sways to this other side. If you're turning right, it kind of juts a bit to the left before it turns right, like so. Before it straightens. That's a bit tricky. Oh my goodness, okay. You have to be a bit mindful of that. It does look a bit weird, but I like it actually feels very different. Turn left. Right. Oh, heavy steering wheel. Good. Okay. Good. Okay. Perfect. Uh, now I am noticing. After 100 yards, turn left. One second. Uh, the shadow. It does seem a bit weird. It doesn't look high resolution. One second, guys. So keep this view. Okay. I'll try and do something on my end. It does say stop, right? So we're stopping right here. Be right back. Okay, I think it's still mostly the same. But I checked. The config files, they looked okay. Okay. Because I recently got uh, 
a crash in the game sometimes the game just hangs on me you know when I, when I double click on the app it opens and then sometimes there it happens once every few weeks or so that it kind of just like fails to load properly and uh, it hangs so I have to end task and sometimes the config files reset because of that so I was thinking it might be one of those instances but it doesn't seem like it I think we're good and yeah I, I think the, the, the shadow was okay so we'll, we'll keep on it Oop, might have hit the curb there for a sec second let's let's take our time here before we squeeze in that guy's is turning right thank you for indicating and why are you stopping right there bro come on come on yeah the ai needs a bit, bit of work okay he's going thank you <laughs> of that low growl from the engine as it struggles on those early revs lower rev ranges Exit ahead. yeah what do you call this trailer in the first place guys doesn't look like a typical doubles right i was actually expecting those uh, one of those dollies that connects the two trailers this looks like something like if i remember correctly i think cast made something like this the was it the vac trailer i remember i had a screenshot of that I think it was the it was the screenshot I used for the start of the stream way back when it was a VAC trailer that had that kind of like jutting thing at the back so it's a trailer but at the back there's like a fifth wheel extension so maybe you can say it's, a, it's like a sixth wheel <laughs> but yes it's pretty cool actually I like it. It does feel quite different when turning. When you're straight like this on the straight road, it doesn't really feel that different, right? But once you st once you turn, you have to adjust it a bit differently, a bit more mindful of it. I think it does. It's not as good when it comes to turns, but I think it's good when it comes to reversing. I'm imagining you don't have to deal with a dolly you still have two articulation points but at least you don't have a dolly you have a fixed articulation point or fi two fixed articulation points like that oh yes one one thing as well thank you to scan for letting me know about this we have real companies now and thank you for the feedback from our fellow spanish uh, community members for letting me know uh, but yes, apparently I was using the old version of Shumi's uh, real company mod. That's why some of the gas stations here in Iberia were not yet uh, made into their real life counterparts. Now it's fixed though. Ay ay ay, going too fast. Read the signs better, bro. And the telepass thingy. This one. Yes, this is the right lane, so we don't have to stop. Save a bit of fuel. There we go. That looks good. Alright. Looking good there. So glad to hear as well that you guys were liking the dream board. You know what? Let's bring it up. While we're on the straight road. Maybe that's not the best time to do it though, huh? Again, let us uh, check our route here. Yes, from Algeciras, making our way south to Mercia. Actually, eastbound. I would have expected we go through there. Didn't expect we turn left. Because we should be hugging the coast right now. There's the sea. What sea is that, guys? You let me know in the comments. Or ocean probably an ocean huh? is that the Atlantic maybe Aeropuerto there's a, an airport here yes indeed it's actually a plane landing right there very nice touch 
don't quite see where we're going yet. Let's just follow on here. Very nice vibes. Highway vibes, but very different feel. I, I actually don't think I've driven through here before in any other profile. I'm not so sure. But yes, I actually haven't explored the entirety of Iberia until now. So it's great that we are having this time here in the series. And at the same time, saving up for our truck. How much do we have right now? Let me check quickly my balance. 108k. Oh my goodness, guys. We're two-thirds of the way there. And this one is paying 25k. So after this, maybe one more trip and we should be Fred Scania ready. You know what? I'm going to risk it even if it's a bit dangerous. I'm not going to look at it, but you guys look at it on your own, okay? So I keep my eyes on the road and you guys uh, focus on the dream board. This is the dream for those who haven't seen it. This is the goal. This is what we're saving up for. Here you go. Here you go. There it is. That's the dream board. Yeah. Keep left. Okay, now we have to keep left and keep on driving properly. One second. There we go. Okay. Good. Everything good? Alright. Yeah, quick look at the dream board. Just to keep the eyes on the prize. I think it's a good practice. Okay, all good here. Yeah, driving in Iberia is pretty relaxing for the most part. Most of the highways are pretty pretty nicely done. I think it says, oh, I see it already. I see a Murcia. Mur Murcia? Mur Murcia? I don't know how you pronounce it. But it's that guy. That guy that's written there. Murcia. I'll take it. And yeah, don't mind the temperature, guys. You can see it's 34 degrees here. Oh my goodness, no. It's middle of autumn, so that shouldn't be. So yes, looks like my my thermometer or something here in the truck still not working properly. I still have to have that looked at. Doesn't quite work as well as I hope. But that's okay. If we open the window, I kind of feel it. Yeah, it, it is definitely colder than 34. This is definitely not 34. Maybe something around, I don't know, 18? Definitely not 34 though, maybe half of that. Did I get that temperature right? Does anyone live around these parts? I didn't know if I got that temperature right, okay. I just took a wild guess, I didn't really. Uh, th because we are on the southern coast of Spain here. So that might be uh, the closest to the equator, right? In terms of Spain. And so that probably means it is the hottest area. So maybe it's above 20 even in autumn. Not sure. But yes, you guys let me know. Pretty interesting cliffs here. And look at those houses there on that hilltop. Very nice. It does feel hot though, doesn't it? Because of the sky. Because of like the this, this like this heat haze, this heat vibe that the sky is giving. Yeah, there are some trees that say otherwise like that those guys so it is autumn it just doesn't feel like it sometimes now granted this is a 500 plus kilometer journey i think if i remember correctly i'm not sure if we can finish this in one sitting i'll have to check we might we might we might just have to extend a bit also, can I go up to 90 here now? No, it's 80 again. It's mostly 80 here. When you have tunnels like this, I think the, the speed limit drops down to 80. Which is okay. I guess it's safe. 
So let's make sure we have our headlights on. We do. Yes, indeed. And then uh, there's a sign here that will ask if you still have your headlights on. I think, yeah, there. Do you still have your headlights on? No. Yes. Okay, so I, I can turn it off now. I think that's how it goes, right? I think so. And here we should be able to go to 90 now. Me thinks. Okay. Can that guy let me through? Lori is on top of it right now. Lori is our GPS lady. She knows how to navigate these Iberian roads quite well. Very nicely done. Because I myself wouldn't have known where to go otherwise. And I still like this method of uh, having the voice GPS navigate us. Keeps me a bit more focused on what we can see outside and less on the GPS screen. Although I do like to look from time to time just to see if I'm going the right way and it looks like we are. Yes, look at that. We are actually hugging the coast here now. El Ejido coming up ahead. Ejido? Ejido. Close enough. Also, you guys, you guys were telling me about the uh, the greeting, right? Buenos dias. When do you use buenos and buenas? That's uh, something I get confused. Buenos dias, buenas tardes, buenas noches. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's a difference between buenos and buenas. And if it's just the way it is, you just have to remember. Or if it's, there is something more behind it. But yes. Something I would like to learn in this place, somewhere I would like to visit sometime, eventually. Hopefully you guys are keeping safe. Things are... I'm not sure actually how to gauge it. Things in real life, how they're working. Some, some areas are getting better. Some areas are getting not so good. Some areas are getting very nervous. There's a new variant and everything, right? But keep safe, guys. And uh, virtual trucking, safest way you can pass the time. The most relaxing way, too. Guys, look at that trailer at the back. Very nice, huh? Man, very deserty here. Also, lots of the. What the heck is that guy doing? Oi! Pull up, pull up. That guy is super steep. Like that angle. I don't know what that is. Like thirty percent pitch down angle. Normally you would have like I don't know five, even less, maybe ten at most. That was scary. <laughs> that was scary. Look at me overtaking here. Am I speeding here? I don't hear the GPS complaining. So it shouldn't be. We're entering a tunnel. Go and turn on the headlights. Um, let me have a look if we need to be 80 here or 90. In this case, we can stay at 90. Although, we don't really have a choice with the engine struggling like this. It's a bit steep. But there we go. I think, we, I think we've crested that hill. Yeah, look at that. Very sharp. Goodness. A very steep descent. Looks like they started their descent too late. So there's an airport here as well in Armeria. Maybe. Interesting. More places where we can do our... Uh, what did we... What? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oops. <laughs> I didn't get any penalty, thankfully. But looks like there was a stubborn car who wouldn't want to give way. Maybe. This guy's in a hurry. Keep away. Goodness. Feel bad for that car now. Did you guys see him in the side mirror? Was he on their blind spot, maybe? Man, that's really scary, huh? The blind spot thing. I think this is where those mirror cams can come into play. 
I'm not exactly sure how, but I think those mirror cams can actually help avoid or lessen those uh, blind spots, I think. And lots of these bridges here, I like it. Also pretty strong crosswinds coming from the left. No, no, coming from the right, rather. Right? Yeah. Okay, nice. I think this one feels a bit familiar, this area. It looks like now we're going downhill again. Just cruising a bit here. Very nice though, I like the vibes. Yeah, highway driving is super relaxing. Iveco, oh, there's an Iveco uh, factory here, maybe a dealer. I bet that's ja where Jack hangs out. <laughs> Our resident Iveco expert. <laughs> I'll be waiting for his comment. Uh, all good, all good. So, has anyone tried 143 yet? I still haven't um, gone anywhere near it. I'm not sure if the mod authors have been adjusting their mods already or if they're also waiting to, uh, for 143 to go live before they do any updates. I think it's mainly going to be... Oh, but yeah, the 143 change log, the change scope is actually increasing. They're introducing more and more changes bit by bit. Um, there is something coming. One second, I think I remember. Oh yes, there was a blog post about it. Austria reworks is coming in the default map. It looks amazing so far. I think it was in grass, but it, this is not included. Not included, okay, in 143. Not yet. They say it's going to be a bigger project, so it wouldn't be ready by 143. But still, still, it's coming. That means pro mods and other map mods will have to adjust yet again. But that's the price. That's the cost of modding. You always have to adjust to the base game. And the fact that the base game is updating still and adding more and more content still even after how many years, guys, has it been? Has it been 9 years already since ETS2 released? I'm not sure. I, I know it's been quite a while. I remember they first released outside of Steam even. So uh, the, the, the date you see in the Steam page might not actually be accurate. It might be a bit late already. The ETS2 has been out for a while and still updating and we're still getting all these new content, right? All these improvements. The latest rendition in 143 coming. That's great. That keeps the community alive. And because of that, modders are keeping up to date with their mods. They're getting a bit more excited. Players are enjoying more content. They're continuing to play. And modders, because they stick around, they create these mods that uh, make other people stick around as well. So it's all a... Uh, it all starts from the developers keeping their game up to date, keeping their game alive. And then the community helps along with it. It's all a... A group effort and this is why they call it the best community ever right the hashtag very nice but yes it all comes from the developer so it's great to see that SES is continuing all these uh, things and I think even if it's a free update I think they still earn in the end indirectly because if the game is alive, then more people will buy it, right? If the game is still being played, if the game is still being updated, if many people are still playing it, then more people are getting exposed to it more and more. And they try it out, they get in, they get hooked, and they buy the DLCs. So it's a win, 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 win for everybody. And that's how the employees can feed their families and live great lives and just like that guys it's nighttime goodness did you, did you notice that the, the the sun creeping down on us the sunset vibes a while ago sure enjoyed that one 
And in now, it's getting dark, but there's still some remnants of the sun. This is actually quite relaxing. I'm actually starting to feel a bit drowsy. Like I'm starting to prepare to wind down and rest. But I can't do that yet, not really. Alan has that luxury. I don't have to keep both hands on the wheel, eyes focused until we finish this job and then I can rest for a bit. But for now, let's see, let's see. Mercia is still there. I wonder why these trucks are going super slow. Am I doing something wrong here? I did hear an overspeed. Might be speeding. Might be 80 on this part. I, I'm a bit confused with the speed limits here in Spain. If you guys have more like tips for me, let me know. Because it doesn't seem like the speed limits are always um, on top of it. Like some areas, it seems like you should know. Like when there's a tunnel, you should know to slow down or something. When there's an intersection, you should slow down. But it's not always 90. It goes to 80 sometimes. Is that Mercia already? This town that we're going to, the city. It's pretty big. Let's zoom in a bit. El Pimiento. <laughs> oh, I like this one. I think this is our stop. Is it? Not really. I am not hearing Lori yet. Really? It is. It is. Oh, there you go. I was just a bit too excited. In some places, there are the accurate speed limits. That's a good thing. But still a bit fast here. Stay at 40. No car coming up. That's good. exit okay count with me guys don't stop please thank you you're in a roundabout you have right of way Mercia discovered not sure if it's the first time I'm seeing this this city it looks magnificent I sure like that design on the roundabout oh, I wonder what's that all about it's very artistic Feels like like a tug of war kind of thing. Poles pulling each other. Ooh, yeah, yeah, we almost hit that guy again. My goodness, didn't see that guy coming at all. I was so busy looking at the the design. These brands look familiar to you guys. Looks pretty Spanish to me. Which mod is that coming from? Maybe from the real advertisements mod? Is that by Sinagrit Baba? I think? Not so sure. I think so. Man, things got super quiet immediately. So then. Taking up more space than I really need just to be on the safe side. Right. But yes, it's good that we can finish this in one episode. Second, 30 here. Can we fit? We can, thank you. Yeah, I do like the advertisements. They definitely look After local, don't they? Yards, turn left. Or maybe that's part of the real company mod by Shumi. Not so sure. Oh, yes, and speaking of company mod, I finally added that in. I'm not sure if I'll regret it. We'll see that add-on from Shumi, company add-on which supposedly adds trucks to the parking zones After makes it a bit more populated yards, turn left. makes it a bit more busy turn left. all right turning left here i think we're circling around i think i had to give way to him I barely saw him. I only saw his headlights. Turn right. Ay 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 Oh, we missed. Whew. Goodness, not the safest trip today, huh, guys? Sorry about that. Turn right. 
Very clumsy trucking today. Maybe it's a trailer. Yes, let's blame it all on the trailer. Turn left. Okay, here we go. Ah, there it is. Yes. Actually, see. Yeah, you see trucks. Yeah. That's the company add on mod. But we're just your parking straight in here, thankfully. But yes, nice to see actual trucks and not just trailers here in the in the unloading points. So you can actually feel that you're not the only one working. Don't feel too bad about yourself. Okay, looks good. Straight in. Thankfully we didn't have to reverse it. Now these things should be turning green. I think that's green already? Is it? Yes. Looks good. Okay. So let's go. Parking brakes. Let's close the windows. You can actually see the windows closing from here. It's quite nice. Alright. Deliver this thing and get some rest. Get paid first though. Most important order of business. 538 kilometers. How much? 25k in one episode. Oh my goodness. Can you guys feel it? Can you feel the Scania coming? Yes, it's coming. It's almost there. Almost there. 134k. Okay. Okay. All right. So probably one more job and then the job, the episode after that will probably be a Fred Scania configuring episode. Maybe we'll do a live stream of that. I'm not sure. But uh, I think configuring... Fred Scania will easily take a couple of hours, so let's let's discuss that. Yeah, we might do that a, in a live stream, so we can all pitch in and uh, join. Although, no, maybe not, because initially we won't have money to configure, so we'll just buy it basic. Yeah, maybe a live stream won't work. Anyway, I'll think about it. Thanks for watching, guys. Clumsy trucking at its finest. <laughs> Thanks, and uh, see you in the next one. Bye bye. Have a good day.